Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Russian Fishing 4. Uh, where we left off, we were uh, in the middle of level 2 here on Mosquito Lake. And we're going to go ahead and do a couple things today, hopefully. Uh, one thing we'd like to do, we covered a little bit of float fishing, which we're going to have to unfortunately continue doing here. But let's see, what I'd like to do is uh, eventually replace this... Um, this float fishing rod, um, the, the bamboo stick. So let's see what we've got here. So this here, let's see, we need to be level six. So we're gonna have to use at least level, level six. But we get a walrus stick. Let's see here. It has a 7.4 and a size 14 hook. So Let's, uh, unfortunately, we'll have to keep doing that till then, but, uh, let's, let's get down here to the lake. It's 4.59 in the morning. Um, uh, let's go ahead and try somewhere else. We, we fished off the dock last episode. Let's see if we can come around here and, uh, find some more fish species, uh, catch in here. Let's see. So we've got warm on this one. Let's see, and we are at. Uh, let's go ahead and try 80 centimeters on on here. Oh, we're snagged already. All right. Well, this will be a good uh, way to show you. So when it comes to snags. Um, all you need to do is, is kind of keep uh, right-clicking repetitively until, oh, in this case, our line tore off. <laughs> uh, I've never actually really had that happen before in the past, so. And I don't have a replacement line for it. So, in this case, what we'll do is, remember when I mentioned in the first episode, uh, we can get once a day, we can go get uh, replacement equipment. So we're going to go ahead and travel back to the cottage pond. And we'll go get some uh, replacement float tackle. Normally when you have that happen though, uh, if you continue just to right click, um, you'll go ahead and it'll eventually come loose without losing your tackle. So, Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to our telestick here. Oh, I thought it was going to give us some more line. I guess it doesn't. Oh, we did get line. Okay, so... Um, unfortunately, I have to use a rusty hook. <laughs> and let's put our worm back on. You know what, since we're here, let's see if we can get a bite. So you can't come back to the cottage pond and fish. Um, let's see, let's see if there's anything over here by the weeds. up to 60. So we got one around 50 or 80. This one will do it 60. Is there another bobble gone? Oh, what is we have fish on there? What did we catch? Chinese sleeper. Nice. Let's go ahead and get that back out there. It was a small one, not even a marker, but 
Maybe we can fix that here and hopefully catch some large ones. There we go. Very nice. Level three even. Looks like playing with our other one here. But uh, we'll just have to we'll kind of poke around a couple spots here and see if we can catch some other fish. We go get another bite on our bamboo. Yeah, well, we didn't catch him for whatever reason. Yeah, we didn't catch that one. <laughs> All right, well, let's go a little around here a little bit further and see what else uh, otherwise areas we can. Right here might not be too shabby. Okay, so it's shallower than 80 centimeters right there. There we go. So that one's kind of laying outside. So let's go ahead and remeasure that down. Let's go down to 50 centimeters. A little bit closer, so let's angle that out just a little bit this way. There we go. Yeah, let's see what we can do here, getting some fish on the float here. Nice little common carp. Like so, let's pull our bobber down here. Nothing there though. Okay. Well, we know there's some common carp right there. If we ever want to come back, uh, we'll make a little mental note of that. Uh, let's see what's over here by this rock. Let's see if we can get something out of here.
Alright, we've got something playing with it here. We missed that first fish, and I'm not sure how. It was uh, laying sideways, kind of running off. But... And looks like our other float. Oh, something's playing with it now, too. Let's go ahead and we'll move over this one here. And once again, that Z key is what helps you zoom in here. Yep. He let go just a second. Let's try to lift up on it. Alright, well. Move over here to the edge of this. Key binds, you kind of do that. Oh, a decent fish here. What do we got? What do we got? Nice little gibble. Already got a fish playing with it. You can see him there in the water. Now you let go of it. See the other thing about the bamboo stick, there's not a lot of line on it, so if you throw it out too far and you pick it up, you do exactly what I just did there. It picks the float up out of the water and disrupts the bite. <laughs> but, uh, came back and got him. Oh, uh, pollution even, nice. Let's see what else we can catch right here. And then we'll head back to Mosquito. Playing with it pretty good, just not uh, committed yet to taking it. There we go. Oh, we still missed him. All right, well, let's go ahead and head on over to back to uh, Mosquito Lake here then.
looks like we got a little rain here. Let's go ahead and uh, I don't think we have any market orders. Or let's see what we can focus on over here. Uh, we didn't want the drink machine. <laughs> uh, so Gibble Carp. Might be able to do that. Oh, we don't have... Uh, Comic Carp. Don't have one big enough. We've got a rough order. Some common Roach, Perch. So that gives us an idea of what we can go for. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe we'll, even though in the original video I said not spend a lot of money, let's see if we can get us a little bit bigger, uh, or better hook, I guess I should say, not necessarily bigger. Uh, let's see here, three silver for those. Let's grab a couple of 14s here. It's a little bit better hook than the ones we're using, so... worm there. And then let's go ahead and go to the bamboo. And we'll put the wet bread back on there. Okay. Let's grab uh, our meal here for the day. And let's go ahead and head over here to uh, a fairly, for me at least, a fairly productive uh, carp and and roach spot. I've caught a lot of gibbles and uh, crucians out of this area here, just past the camp. So really anywhere in this little bay here is really good. Although I might have to adjust my float. I don't know if that's... Yeah, it's shallow here. Alright, so let's go ahead and try 40 centimeters on this one. Yeah, it looks like 40 centimeters looks like that's going to work just fine. And then let's go ahead and get our light feather float out here. And we'll take it down to 40 as well. Yep, a little further than that. Okay, so 40 that close is not going to work for us. Let's try 30. So 30 centimeters is just slightly too... Let's try 25 then. There we go. Something's playing with our float out there in the lily pads. Let's see, what do we get here? I've got us a little sleeper. You can see with this rain, as I was mentioning before, um, our comfort level and our energy level are kind of hand in hand there. So our comfort level is way down because of the rain, and therefore our energy level is not going up. And it's probably actually somewhat decreasing um, during this rainstorm. Uh, the way we could combat that is we'd come over, and if we had some wood, we'd go start a fire and stand by the fire. That would. Uh, bring up our comfort level, which in turn will bring up our energy level again, so. But this uh, lower level, I'm not too uh, too worried about that, so. Looks like another sleeper. I think we need to recast our uh, bamboo. We haven't even got a bite off that. So let's do this. Let's uh, instead of bread, let's see if, if there's uh, another predatory fish here. Let's put it on the maggots.
Maybe we'll get some perch in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and put ourselves into our uh, custom-made chat room. So this is open to all of you. Uh, it's the Gutsy Hunter Bugle Bungalow. So if you type in, uh, oh, let's start here at the beginning so you guys can see that. So if you hit Q, that will bring up the chat window. And inside the chat window uh, is uh, a sprocket. If you click on the sprocket, it will bring up uh, where you can select a channel, create a channel. In this case, we're going to go down to the bottom here, and we're going to have type in GH Bugle Bungalow. And you can see it's actually right there. And we're just going to join that channel. <clears throat> so you guys are all welcome to join that. This is where we uh, um, can hang out together, give each other some tips, and let's see here. I uh, just stay in touch as a community, so. He was wandering off with it, but it wasn't going anywhere, <laughs> so. Let's try this again. <laughs> And our maggots haven't really done anything for us either. I'm surprised. Let's do this. Let's see here. Let's, oh, as soon as I put it down, we get a bite. Now we're getting out get a bite there. So we had it all the way under. Let's still get him. Let's bump this back up to 30. Can't cast out there a little bit further. There we go. We're almost to level four, so Is playing with, but he's not committed yet. Oh, got a little tension. We're level four. Nice. Something playing with this here. Let's see if we can get him to come in and uh, really take that bait. Here. I'd like to get some of these cafe orders.
happening? The sun shining out? Let's see what we can do here, hopefully. This one will be a little more quick to, to take it down and uh, I'll have to catch him here. That looks like the other one that was running off. Quite on the bottom. I mean, we are a little bit, but not like, not like we were in the previous cast there. These fish are pretty funny too. They'll play with it for all that time, and then the moment you pick up your pole, and they just stop playing with it. Pretty interesting. <laughs> pretty realistic. I just don't think he has, even though he's swimming away with it. I guess we tell. Yeah, he didn't have it. Let's get that out there and see what happens. Uh, not, not catching them today. <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do with these fish? It's not targeting the fish that we need for the cafe orders, but at least we're still catching some fish here. Like another sleeper. Two levels away from being able to get a bigger float fish, but we gotta get the money too. <laughs> Somehow we missed him. Uh, 
Well, let's see here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Like a big old comic carp. The other thing we need to get is a net. There you go. Oh, nice. Well, if that's the case, let's go ahead and uh, switch back to bread. What bread here? Push the B key that brings up your bait your bait screen for you. Just click that, and you should be ready to go. Let's see if we can get something uh, crucian or even gibble related here. Slowly but surely they'll start coming to us here, hopefully. There we go. Get here. Nice. Mark recruition. We'll take that. here with our other line, but uh, hasn't decided to take it under yet. I think he might be serious now. There we go. The crucian. Almost to six percent or five percent on our float fishing here. So we're getting there. We're getting there. And then the world will open up a little bit more to us. So I think it was 149 for that new that new uh, float rod. Another sleeper. 5.1 now. Power float fishing. He's dancing with that power. There we go. Another gibble, 5.3. All right, let's see what else we can catch here. If we move down to the left a little bit, we could get into some perch. That order completed, maybe. I can't remember how we need we need it now. But that's one of the ways that uh, you want to make money quickly is, is just getting those orders completed. Helps out so much. Because the same fish by themselves that mainly bring in a few, you know, little bits of silver. 
um, really can you know be worth five silver if you go into the market or into the uh, cafe. So. He's moving with it, but I don't know that he's really got it in his mouth there. Yeah, I didn't think he did. He was kind of just hanging on to it with his end of the worm, probably. Alright, what did we catch here? Another crucian? Oh, no, Gibble. Alright. So we're almost at 6% there, 5.5%. Let's see what else we can catch here. We'll catch a couple more fish to see if we've got enough for a couple orders then. Because I think we needed, uh, so we need 149 for that new float rod. I got another sleeper here. And look at that, we're level 5. Let's keep float fish until we get that up to level uh, till we get to 6%. Alright, that should get us over 6%. There we go. So let's see if we can get us a fish on here real quick, and then we'll... Go to cafe, and we're starting to get a little nibble there. Yeah, he took off. <laughs> So if they see you, you can see you can tell that uh, once they see you, they they let go of the bait, and run off. That's one of the advantages to uh, bottom fishing. You know, you get it out there and they don't see you. So, and that may be something we'll do to uh, let me think about that. Maybe we'll save up and get a float rig or bottom fishing or uh, bottom feeding rig first, and then uh, if that, oops, that's the venue. And then if that. Uh, works and so we got two pieces nice so always want to sell the smallest ones first so right there we're going to make 287 where those by themselves might have only made uh you know very little so we don't have any any others that uh, will need the qualifications cafe but those gibbles might have only sold for you know 20 cents basically so let's see what we've got here. So let's see, we've got a couple of or gibbles in here. So you can see the 46 cents, so that one's 259. So we may have, uh, we may have gotten a better deal there by selling them at the, so we're gonna pick up 17 silver right there. Let's take a look at our bait, see how we're doing bait wise here. Let's see. We've got 70 worms, 26 maggots, and 20 bread. So we're not doing too shabby right at the moment. Let's go see how much the bottom feeder is as well. Let's start a bottom feeder. So 
So let's see here, float machine, spinning light, universal. So the starting feeder fisher is 149 as well. Uh, we get a comma car for Lacerdi. So we might do that instead. Uh, so we will still concentrate with our float rod as well. Uh, but also we'll uh, start getting some points and able to catch some uh, other fish such as the bream and white bream and roach. So, but let's head on over here on this side. It usually is a pretty good perch uh, spot so, since we still have an order for perch. right here. Let's go back up to 80 centimeters here. I think it's deeper on this side. And let's kind of fish off these lilies right here. I don't have all day to wait for you on this one. So we're going to put you down and catch this fish here instead. They are just toying with it. The other bobber's already gone under. I was hoping after he was hitting it all that time that uh, he actually, actually had it. It's not But we should be able to pick up some more fish here in just a moment. There's our bobber again out there. There we go. He's a crucial. Yeah. 
There we go, got a roach finally. Need a few more roach then. Come on now, take it down. Asking how long they just sit there and they like to just play around with it. Guess he got bored with it. I think he's. Didn't look like he's doing anything. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, dang it. Skipped over the top of that log there, that was pretty good. I think what we'll honestly do is we'll save up for that, that uh, bottom Peter, beginning bottom Peter, uh, and then keep uh, using our float, and then what we'll do is we'll Make uh, another 149 silver, and then upgrade that float rod as well, so we don't have to use the bamboo. Then we'll have one float rod. The other thing that we want to start focusing on too, I'm going to start focusing on spinning. Maybe we'll cover spinning in the next episode, but a little winding to be let. Get that up there. I'm really surprised that nothing's bitten on that uh, bread there set by the lily pads. Let's see here. I'd like to get us to 6% before we end this episode, so. Trying to get these fish to cooperate has been challenging tonight. Certainly had it. Let's see here, maybe we'll catch this guy here. Yep, we got him. We get a little crucian. Nice. Let's uh, meander around here back to the back a little bit. Let's see, I have got done well here in the past. So. Let's get that down to uh, 60, I think. Uh, 
And then what we'll do on our feather here, we'll go ahead and put on the maggots again. Let's set up this 60 as well. I think we can get out there. Yep, excellent. Getting something to dibble here a little bit on our first shot. Oh man, I don't know how that was just come on out. Sometimes I think this game doesn't like it. That's <laughs> uh, still fun. I love this game. Uh, we'll be doing some other outdoor games uh, on the channel here shortly too, so... There we go. Looks like the boot are given. Yeah. No surprise, we haven't had a hit yet on the maggots. Back to bread. I'll put worms on both of them. Nice, they're up. I would definitely like to pitch my toes. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and put it on this one. Almost everything bites on worms. We didn't get out there quite far enough. Let's get up further here. I had a little too much slack in there that we had to make up for. Like the bite might have slowed down just a little bit here. Should hopefully pick up again here in a few uh, game minutes. It's three o'clock. Last, maybe we won't. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice kip. Yeah, that. 
I get for thinking sometimes, huh? So a little bit longer, since we don't have the glow in the dark bobbers. Maybe that was too shallow there, but it's not. Nice. You can see that uh, we definitely don't get a lot of casting distance with the uh, bamboo. Get another bite here. Always remember, try to keep that pole vertical, uh, right in line with your bobber, and you will catch more fishing. I didn't let him take that all the way down. That was my fault on that one. Alright, well, I have to move around a little bit, see if we can find a better spot. First one, no, and our second one. I'm serious though. That looks like, there we go, it's like two, the, Oh, he had that. I saw him at the surface, too. Looked like a gimbal. Uh, let's head over here. Let's see. It's not this one. That one yet. Oh, that is a good spot right there, though. Alright, get some activity. Nice rough. Oh, wow. Oh. 
Uh. Oh, we ran off with it. There we go. Couple of gill. Eight and a half percent. <laughs> Still on there. Next like. Nice perch. Because it might just rip close here. <laughs> Let's see what else we can pick up right here. back to them uh, just kind of toying with it not necessarily getting serious with this so hopefully uh, that will change in a moment maybe a rough maybe a rough oh, small gibble <laughs> let's kick this one out a little bit further too Let's see, let's put maggots back on this one. We get to the morning hours. He had that bob on her and I still couldn't catch him. Silly guys. Oh, 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 oh. Another common carp. Decent size one there. Let's better drag him up on shore so we can pick him up. There we go.
Ah, Est-ce qu'il y a bon Alright, looks like we're getting a bite here on the second rod again. Good sized fish. Come on. <laughs> a little stuck there in the old weedy weeds. Another one kilo. I'm getting some little bigger fish there this morning. Thank you. 